Yo guys, what is up? And if you're wondering why I'm in the dark, it's because I'm getting ready to show you guys how to get your CPU key. Uh, the, I'm going to show you guys t uh, the both ways you can do it. You can actually use a mod tool on your computer to do this as well to get your CPU key. Most Some of the tools actually can get it. But anyway, what we're going to do is, I don't know if you can see this, but it is your eject button on your Xbox. So you're just going to press that and then it'll open your tray. Sorry for the lighting, but just press that and it'll boot Zill. And you're gonna wait for it to load and it's just gonna go down. And this is your CPU key right here in the top line. And that's one way you can get it. Also, I wanna explain to you guys, if you get a RID screen right here, and it's basically to fix the red screen it'll say like it failed or something up at the top and it'll turn red that's not a good thing usually it's caused by bad blocks usually but if you take if you have like a disc inside your xbox or if you have your hard drive on take take the disc out and take the hard drive out and it shouldn't give you a red screen anymore so uh, i'm going to show you guys another way to get your cpu key so i'm going to turn this off I'm gonna turn it back on using the power button. And I'm gonna turn my controller on. And we got the Xbox logo. And as you guys know, I just started, um, I just got a server. I didn't make it. It's actually a teapot rental, and it's actually, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, it's, it's very good. Like, a lot of guys, a lot of people say that teapot is really bad, and it sucks, and everything. Well, I've lit about, um, like, seven or eight people now on here for free for them to test it out just to see how good it was and um they haven't gotten banned yet and it's been like five or six days now so um you know teapot is not as bad as everybody's saying so if you guys would like to buy time on my server it's pretty cheap and you guys can try it out um but i'm being totally honest with you guys so we're gonna go to xcx menu you don't need to sign in We're going to click RB right here, and we're going to go to Dash Launch, wherever that is, and mine is in one set of files. Then we go to Dash Launch, then we click Installer and Default.xex, <clears throat> and we're going to click LB and go to System Info, and your CPU key will be right there, and that's the other way how to get your CPU key. So, yeah guys, if you want to check out my other videos, be sure to check them out, and also if you want to buy time. Um, the sellers are me, Calvaster Customs, and Bunny Customs, or Bunny's Customs, my bad. So, uh, I, I might have a link in the description, and I might tell you guys my prices, I'm not sure yet, but, 